Group 1 winners, Group 1 producers and some of the best bred mares in the country will be up for grabs this week when Magic Millions hosts the National Broodmare Sale. More than a thousand lots will go through the ring across four days at what is one of the most highly anticipated sales of the season. It's just fantastic that we're here in front of a, a, a wonderful catalogue of mares that uh, spread over four days and this sale's really come of age. It firmly is the Southern Hemisphere's leading breeding stock sale without any question. Uh, so we're looking forward to getting in them, into them tomorrow. Now that we're grossing uh, for the mares, you know, 60, 70, 80 million on occasion, uh, it's just, it really is right up there with, with some of the leading breeding stock sales around the world. This year's sale should open with a bang with many of the potential sale toppers among the big group of race fillies and mares will be among the first lots to go under the hammer. Tats Tiara winner Miss Covergirl is one of the best performed lots in the book and she will be accompanied by a number of high profile fillies and mares who have found their way to the Gold Coast as part of the supplementary offerings. The very last lot of that group is the well performed and well related Petite Falou while Blue Diamond Prelude winner Samara Dancer goes through straight after another group two winner Sweet Embrace Stakes Champion Scarlet Rain. Beamer Bloodstock boasts a strong draft which includes Group 2 winners Nurse Kitchen, who also finished second in this year's Group 1 Vinery Stud Stakes, and the former Lindsay Park trained Catch a Fire. Miss Gunpowder is another Group 2 winner from Lindsay Park at the sale to be offered by Burke Bloodstock, which is also selling impressive debut winner Musai, who is a half-sister to Star Spangled Banner on day one. Hijack Hussey, who carried the colours of Strong Magic Million supporter Prime Thoroughbreds, goes through along with Time for Roses, who is a product of Reduce Choice and Magic Million's two-year-old classic winner, Augusta Proud. It's not all about the, the big lots. Uh, there's 1,100 catalogued, and something like half of those uh, will make less than 50,000. So there's, there's a, a very big opportunity for anyone that's in the market. The industry's in good shape. Uh, the early sales have been very strong the, you know, around the country, wherever you are, and um, you know, with this sort of number of mares, there's always going to be holes in the market. The first of just under 350 lots on opening day will go under the hammer at 10am, and you can follow all of the action at magicmillions.com.au.